Do you want to be a legend in your own kitchen? You can do it with an omelet. That's today's legend maker. Now, a lot of people are afraid of making omelets. There's so many different ways of doing it. I'm going to show you one way of doing it and a whole bunch of takeaways, which is going to take away all the indecision about making an omelet. It's going to be so easy. You're going to want to make one for your next meal. Let me show you. I'm going to make a simple omelet, just a little feta cheese, a little spinach. Not going to go wild. You know, you can make an omelet without anything added to it, just the eggs. Let me show you. First of all, here's the first takeaway. A lot of people like to break eggs right along the side of the bowl, well, along the rim. I don't like to do that because that almost guarantees you're going to get some shell in there. That's kind of a wide break. On a flat surface like the counter, just do it that way. And one more. This is going to be a two egg omelet. A pan this size, I wouldn't go more than three eggs because then it gets to be kind of full. You'd want a bigger pan for that. Next thing, a little fat in the pan. Butter always helps. You can use a margarine, butter substitute kind of thing. Uh, you can use oil. Pan's a little warmer than I'd like, but that's okay. I'm just going to take it off of there for a second so butter doesn't burn. It's not like a hot pan, but not screaming hot for the eggs. And whip these up. I'm not going back and forth. I'm doing a circular motion. Getting a little air in there, getting everything all mixed up together. Get a little salt and pepper, just a bit. Just a little splash there. A little freshly ground pepper. Don't need much. Bring the pan back. Now my method, I like to use two spatulas for it. I'll show you what I mean. So you get a nice little bubbling going out there. That tells me the pan's it's got a good temperature going. See, so look at that, just whipping everything together. You don't have to keep going forever, but you want everything really nice and well mixed together. I think that's good. The pan's hot. See, a nice little minor gurgle of a sizzle, or a sizzle of a gurgle. Let it just sit there. One of the methods is just kind of stirring everything around. I'm just going to let that sit. And here's what we're looking for. You see how the egg is starting to cook around the edge there. That's exactly what I want. I'm not going to be stirring anything up. But what's going to happen is, in a moment, as it gets a little bit more of the cooked around there, well, let's see what happens if I do it now. Just to lift up the, the lip there along the side. And just kind of go around the whole omelet and do that. See, I'm just picking it up and putting uncooked egg underneath there. I'm just going to keep doing this the whole time. Won't take long. How long do I keep doing it? Until there's still going to be a little puddle of egg over the top, but there won't be enough to really go over to the edge. Let's try that again. See, it's starting to cook there. See, look at how that egg's cooked under there. And see, there's not as much. Sure, there's a nice little surface there, but just kind of shake the pan around. Look at that. See, that's almost that's almost ready to go. Look at that. See, there's it's cooking from underneath, so it's not really moving around a whole lot. That's fine. Let that sit for a moment. So get a little more over there. See, it's nice and moving around on the bottom. Give it another moment. And now I want everything in the front half of the pan. So that's where I'm going to put my fillings. Some feta cheese. And don't need a ton, or however much you want. Put some spinach on. Let that sit for a moment. Now, so I like to use two spatulas. Put it under there. Just flip it over. Now, you'll see how the, the, the egg is browning underneath there. Some people like that, some people don't like that. If you don't like the browning, just turn the temperature down a bit and it won't brown. Now, what you also notice is, boy, that's not all that good looking there. All the spinach leaves pouring out there, you have a hole there for when I stuck in there. I did that actually intentionally so you could see, boy, that doesn't look great. How am I gonna get a good looking omelet out of that? Oh, just wait and see. This is ready to go. Now, you look, see how the spinach, it's not cooked as though you throw it in a skillet and it all shriveled down. It's warm through. I like it this way. You could saute it beforehand if you want, but it's going to be warm through and it's really going to be quite nice. So now, look at my hand like this. Not, not holding the pan like you usually would. Upside down. Grab it like that. Take the edge of the pan. No, I don't have anything on the plate like toast or, or ham or bacon or fruit. It's empty because this way, you put the tip of the pan right like that. And you flip it over and look at that. You know how the omelet was kind of funny looking? Well, that funny looking part is on the bottom. And so now you have a nice omelet here. Now, why is this so brown? Because the person I love to cook these for likes her omelets nice and brown. 
If you don't like yours brown, just turn the temperature down and you won't get that brown because that's just the butter reacting uh, to the pan. So here you have it, a lovely two egg omelet, feta cheese and spinach, and it just looks like the perfect omelet on there. This is great for breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner, anytime. I hope you like this video, and if you do, please hit like, and even better, we'd love it if you were to hit subscribe. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.